Today I'm going to show you how to save 100k the easy way when it comes to fixing and flipping. When I listen to a lot of YouTubers and guys like Alex Hormozzi especially, he talks about raising your margin, right? Your prices to get a higher gross and net margin. However, in real estate, you're capped at how much you can make based on a given location. So as a result of that, the other side of the coin is saving and cutting your expenses. And on this fix and flip, we saved 100K in rehab by not gutting it and making sure that we're gonna save as much as we can to increase our bottom line profits by 100,000. I'm gonna walk you through today and show you exactly how we did it so that you can apply it to your next project. So let's check it out. So I'm gonna start with the top and work our way down. We're gonna have to repoint that chimney. That's gonna cost us around a thousand bucks. The roof is in pretty good shape, so we didn't have to replace it. That saves us about $10,000. Uh, we are gonna have to replace all of the windows, but by not having to replace the exterior siding here, we were able to save about $10,000. Uh, and then on the top of the roof, between all the exterior work that we don't have to do, we saved about 20 grand. Let's check out the interior. So as you can see, we we're able to save all of the walls, uh, the casings around the windows and doors. Uh, flooring is gonna be replaced throughout. Uh, there wasn't much to salvage, it was carpet, it was horrible. A lot of dog stain, pee and all that crap. We only ended up gutting one ceiling. And by not having to gut the entire house and re-sheet rock it, that saves us around $10,000 uh, on the cost of having to sheet rock this space. We gutted the kitchen, so this will be your kitchen space, dining room. Again, we did not have to gut the walls. We're just gonna take that wallpaper off. On the exterior, we're able to save the deck. Our guys actually stripped it. They used paint thinner. By not having to replace this, we're saving around 7,500 bucks. In a lot of full guts, you end up replacing the main stairwell and the basement stairs. We saved about 15,000 by not having to do that here. Here, as you can see, we didn't gut the ceilings or the walls and the two bedrooms up here. As you can see, we left all the window and door casings intact. By not having to replace the window and door casings, we saved about $12,000 on labor and materials for the finished carpentry and millwork. And for this bathroom, the plumbing will be spot replaced throughout the bathroom and kitchen. We got one quote for 18,000 at this property for the plumbing, but we're actually gonna only spend 7,500. That's a savings of $10,500. The heating system was actually fully functional in this house, so we were able to save the heating system and only replace the ductwork. We're also going to reuse many of the original grills. Typically, this would cost us 20,000 to install a system like this, but because we're saving all of these components, we were able to save $9,000 and only spend $11,000, which includes adding an AC condenser, which will greatly increase the value. To put in a new electrical service on a flip like this would typically cost around 20K. But because the electrical service was already 100 amps and in good working order, we only had to pay $500, which saves us $7,500. And then lastly, there were no layout changes. So we saved $8,000 because we didn't have to reframe any new walls or make any structural changes to the house. So to recap, we saved 10,000 on the roof. We saved 10,000 on siding, 10,000 on sheetrock, 7,500 on the rear deck, we saved 15,000 on not having to replace the stairs for the first level or the basement. We saved 12,000 on the finished carpentry and millwork. We saved 10,500 on the plumbing. We saved another 9,000 on the HVAC. We saved 11,500 on the electrical. And lastly, we saved $8,000 on the rough carpentry because there were no layout changes. This represents a total savings of $103,500. We actually had to spend an extra 3,500 to reframe one of the kitchen walls because we decided to extend the kitchen. So our total savings is down to 100K. And in this market, these are the types of flips you want to do. You don't want to do gut rehabs because it increases your chances of getting caught in the downturn. I hope this information helps you when it comes to your fix and flips. Also, please like and subscribe as it will help others find this content who are looking to learn the real estate business. Lastly, if you're looking to learn more, visit rlncompanies.com or you can purchase my new ebook, How to Flip Your Way to Freedom, with the link below. And I also do a brief monthly webinar where we discuss how to find off-market deals and how to flip for a profit. You can sign up in the description below as well. And as always, stay tuned for more, and thank you for watching.